Good evening. This is going to be the weekly reading for Capricorn. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and um, give my spiel that I've get, given everybody else today. If there would ever be at a time that I would contradict something that I've said prior to, you know, now, <laughs> it's because my energy is always changing as well. And um, I am learning and growing and changing along with you guys. And whenever I receive um, spiritual downloads of information, as I like to call them, I like to share, you know, whatever it is that I've learned and do take what resonates because um, everybody is on their own spiritual journey. Everyone is on their own level of ascension. Um, everyone is experiencing their very own version of reality at any given time. Um, and the other thing that I wanted to say is when I first started um, this channel is that I didn't know what direction I was going to go in. And um, I had been wanting to do it for a while, but because I have such, um, I had such a fear of rejection of really trying new things, it took a while for me to just kind of get my feet wet. And um, once I did, you know, I, I just kind of harnessed it and kind of channeled my energy and kind of pulled it back so that I know exactly what it is that I want to do now so that my energy is not all over the place. Um, I wanted to say that I am not a fortune teller. Um, I believe that everyone is connected to the power, the God source energy um, that we can plug into anytime that we want. We um, are the captains of our own ship and we can manifest whatever we want. Um, because we are the co-creators with the universe of bringing in whatever reality that we want, depending on where we vibrate at. And with that being said, I've decided that what I'm going to do week after week is um, an energy report, an energy reading, to let you know as a collective, as the, you know, the whole sign of Capricorn, and do take what resonates, because it's not going to resonate with everybody week after week, um, what type of blocks that you have to abundance, to love, to money. I mean, I can sit up all day and tell you, oh, love is coming in, money's coming in, but maybe you're not ready. Maybe um, you aren't aligned to it because you have your own fears and doubts as to whether or not that's what you feel like you deserve. So, and that's always fears. We always feel like we don't deserve what it is that we're trying to manifest or, you know, it could be something else. You know, there's lots of different blocks that can happen, but I did want to say that. And if anyone is interested in a personal reading, I can give you personal messages that have came through um, that will be more catered to you. And I'll put my email in the description of the video. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And the first card that I have is the Five of Wands. And basically the energy that I'm really getting from the spread, and I don't know what it is about Capricorns, <laughs> but you guys are very, very spiritual people. Very, very connected to the spiritual realm. Um, and very quiet about it. Like Geminis are very spiritual people too, but they're not quiet about it. <laughs> So I was really surprised because um, of, of the level of spirituality that I get in every single reading for Capricorns. But um, this is all about things going on in the spirit realm all around you. But you see them. You see all of these things going on because you are so connected to the spiritual realm. And the other message that came through when I pulled this card earlier was spiritual gifts returning. You know, these never leave, but we do have a soul amnesia um, when we incarnate into the physical form that we're in now, and we take on the personality um, that we have, and we have all the conditioning that we've received as a child from our parents, from school, from, you know, other kids. Any type of conditioning that we have, we've taken that on, and as a result, we forget who we are as a soul and we forget our spiritual gifts. They're always there. Um, I know when I was a child, I felt spirits and it was very, very strong, but my mom really discouraged it, you know, because I was brought up in a Baptist home and, um, in Lynchburg, Virginia, <laughs> it's a very Baptist town. If you've never been there and town of Jerry Falwell. And so the thing is, that was really, really frowned upon. So I, I really um, didn't develop that gift at all until 
I embarked on this spiritual journey and this awakening in September of 2016. Um, and all of my gifts started returning to, well, they always were there, but I remembered them. So that's kind of, you know, I've gotten off on a tangent with that. But um, we have the supernatural card to clarify that. Inexplicable, miraculous, and otherworldly. Once again, this is really all about um, connecting to that other realm. And... I do feel like you are all of your spiritual gifts are returning to you guys and you're really um, developing it you know whatever that is I mean if it's sorry if you hear my dogs if that's seeing spirits hearing spirits if it's being able to read tarot cards or runes I'm teaching myself how to read runes right now and I really can't wait to incorporate them into my readings but anything like that is returning to you you're remembering you're waking up from your soul amnesia we have the knight of swords and you know this is a mental energy um, this is that mental conflict but I don't feel like so much it's mental conflict as you've been trying to figure out solutions trying to solve things on your own um, trying to come up with um, any type of ideas of how to um, solve problems that you have right now. And the problems that I feel like you have are that you have settled for situations that do not make you happy. But I, I'm sensing that you're doing that out of sense of obligation. There are a lot of obligations right now that really have you weighed down. And, um, so you've been trying to think of solutions of how to really break free because you are a free spirit and you feel very, very tied down. See the, how this is, this is a free spirited card. That's the energy I'm reading from this, but you're in that swords energy, that mental conflict where you feel like you are, you're not free like you want to be because of obligations weighing you down. Now, to clarify that card, we have the children. Your connection with children is part of your life's purpose. But the way that I read this card as clarifying that one is that there are a lot of people staying in unha unhappy, unhealthy relationships because of children. Um, and this is one of your sense of obligations. And I'm going to say that I was in a marriage for 20 years that I was real unhappy in. And I really stayed out of obligation, and I kept telling myself, when the kids are grown, when the kids are grown, I'll leave. Um, well, the kids got, you know, were grown, and then, you know, my two youngest ones were teenagers, and I couldn't take it anymore, and I left. And the kids were all mad at me anyway. And you know what they said to me? We're mad because you didn't leave sooner. And I thought, what in the hell? You know, I sacrificed myself. To stay in a relationship so I could be there for the kids. And then when I did leave, they were mad at me because I didn't do it sooner. And I can kind of sense now what they were saying because I'm so much happier now. I'm so much more laid back. I'm so much more easygoing. Um, and they see that. And they wish that I had been that kind of mom then. But I wasn't because I was so uptight and I was so unhappy. And I know I would have been a better parent if I had been happier. So I wish I'd done it sooner. So that message is for somebody. I don't know who. But that message definitely did come through about not staying out of obligation. And I'm not encouraging anybody to go out and divorce their mate or to separate from who they're from who they're with. I would just like to see people follow their hearts and do what makes them happy. And we have the Ten of Cups. And that's this is a completion of a cycle. Whatever type of cycle you have been in over here that has not been fulfilling, you're completing that. And you're looking towards something else. Um, you know, maybe you are in a position where you can finally leave um, an unhappy relationship. Maybe something that you rushed into and you just kind of got stuck there out of sense of obligation. And, you know, I, I'm even sensing, you know, maybe you've even, there's been some infidelity just because you've been so unhappy. You've been trying to free yourself. 
Um, but do honor yourself, you know, because I've given my whole spiel before on monogamy. And monogamy is a man-made institution. Um, and it's fear-based. And it's all about contracts and rules and conditions. And naturally, um, well, humans are not monogamous by nature. But the thing is, and the whole paradox is, is that once you are free to really um, expand your soul and learn and grow, and you, you are in this energy here, this free-spirited energy, where you feel like whatever relationship you're in, you feel like you are free, you're not going anywhere. Why would you want to go somewhere else to go and be with somebody who's going to place conditions on you? So the whole paradox is the whole time, you know, we have, you know, if you're in a relationship and I know in my relationship, my ex-husband used to get paranoid. He used to accuse me thing, of things all the time. I was always doing stuff, you know, and I'm not making excuses, but that pushes you away. And before you know it, you have done those things because you've been pushed away, you know, and you're going to manifest whatever it is you prepare for. So, you know, on the other hand, if you are the one who is doing the controlling and the jealousy and the envy and all these kind of things and placing those kind of conditions on whoever you're with, you're going to push them away and you're preparing to manifest that. Whereas if you let somebody be free and they can grow and just really, and I'm not talking about, you know, out here swinging or whatever else. I'm talking about just let somebody breathe. They're not going to go away because why would they? Because that is the perfect energy for the perfect love. That is love. That is not fear-based. That is perfect, unconditional love. To clarify this card, we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So I do feel like somebody, you have met somebody. And that person that you have met, you have a very strong magnetic attraction with. And I have said this before about you having possibly have met, you know, your divine partner. And this message is coming through again. And when this happens, it makes you so much more aware of the very low vibrational 3D relationship that you've been in. That's what happened to me. I met my divine partner and suddenly the 20 year relationship that I was in was like not resonating with me at all anymore. I knew I had to get out of there. I just, it was not doing it for me anymore and it was time to go. It's like it pulls you away. Now we have the six of cups and this is all about reminiscing and looking back and I believe that we've done this before Capricorn where Maybe you keep looking back at um, how different your life would have been had you done something else. Or you could be looking back at your glory days of school or if you played a sport and you were, you know, a top athlete. And you're looking back at what if I would have pursued my dream instead of um, being stuck in this mundane relationship at this mundane job or whatever it is that you're going through that you're looking back and thinking it was better then. But there are no mistakes if you learn from it. And what I am sensing from this is that all of that has led you to this here. Because you have to know what you don't like in order to know what you do. It's all about contrast. And if you would experience this type of situation, this type of divine partnership to begin with, where... where um, it comes from a pure place. You might not have been ready for it if you had not experienced this other stuff here. And to clarify that Six of Cups, we have the love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And so basically what I'm getting with this is do have your boundaries and do have your standards. Know how it is that you want to be treated. And how you want to be loved. And don't settle for anything less. And if you have gotten to the point where something no longer resonates with you, speak your truth. Say, you know what? I, I don't want you talking to me that way. Or, 
you know what? I really want to have some space today. I'm going to take some time for myself. So definitely speak up and really um, have boundaries with people and put yourself first. We have the Knave of Swords. And basically what I'm getting with this is this is fighting battles. And you don't always have to fight. Sorry, my eye was itching. You don't always have to fight. You don't ever always have to go into defensive mode and go off and fight battles. Sometimes the best way to fight a battle is to walk away. You don't, you know, you get to the point where you don't always have to be right. Save your energy for more important things. And, you know, a lot of times people feed off of our energy too. We give life to situations. I have found that when a problem comes up, the best thing to do is to starve it out energetically. Don't keep adding to it and it'll, you'll give life to it and it gets bigger than what it is. A lot of times you have to choose to walk away. And that's very hard on the ego because the ego really wants to fight. Um, I have learned this so much lately about what is from my ego and what is from my soul. And I have to be very mindful because my ego just wants to run away and wants to be right and it wants to take over. Um, and it doesn't... It doesn't want me to, not only doesn't want me to be happy, it doesn't want anyone around me to be happy. So I'm very mindful, so I come from a place of pure intention. We have the world card. And basically what I'm getting with this card is really um, sit back and look at how far you've come. And really enjoy where you're at right now. Um... Because you have a lot of victories. You have made it through a lot of storms. And so really, um, if you're going to do any of this here, this contemplating, this Six of Cups energy of looking back and being nostalgic, look at how far you've come. And how it's prepared you. And anything that you've learned along the way, apply it. That is the message that's coming through for that card. Um, we have the Moon card. And basically, this is almost like fighting in the dark. You know, we've got this card here where you've been wanting to fight and really, um, you know, put on your gloves and go to battle over things that don't deserve your energy. This card here is all about, like I said, fighting blind. You've got things going on that you can't see right now um, because you are in the dark and there's more going on than meets the eye. And a lot of times um, we'll be stuck in a situation and we won't understand that there are things being worked out for us behind the scenes. And that everything is going to work out and play out exactly like it's supposed to if you just have faith and you take the guidance and the steps that you're guided to take. But don't, this is not a journey of the mind. Stay out of the mind because when you're in the mind you're going to always... Um, when we think so much, we are creating situations for ourselves. I have had to be very mindful because when something happens, and it can be something something small, like somebody says something to me, and then I'll obsess about, why they say that? What does that mean? I'll start trying to figure out what are their intentions? What was the energy behind it? But as I'm doing that, I'm creating a whole scenario because whatever we believe to be true is true. So do release the stories, and if something happens, it just is. Just let it go, and don't focus too much on it. Um, because there are things going on behind the scenes, and you don't need to know everything. That message is coming through. You don't need to know everything. You just need to have faith and realize that it's all happening the way it's supposed to. Um, we have familiar and guardian. And what I'm getting with this, I mean, this could be a spirit animal. These are definitely spirit guides. And the message that I'm getting is that your spirit guides have been working with you. And maybe that's what you've been seeing. Maybe that's how you are connected and how you are able to see these spiritual things and really remember your gifts. Is because your spirit guides have been working with you. Beautiful energy. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 
And I kind of pulled more tarot cards than I usually do because a lot fell out. I mean, they literally, and I said, you know what, I'm just going to take them. We have the Knight of Cups. Now, this Knight of Cups is a very fast-moving knight. And a lot of times, he's very immature. Um, he really... It's like folly. It's like um, a certain amount of fickleness. Not quite being ready, but um, just wanting to kind of play around and not be serious and settle down. That's the energy I'm getting with this card. And what I'm getting with this card is that this is somebody's cycle they've been stuck in. Of just kind of making moves and not really um, taking your time. Maybe it's it's this whole thing here where you're not happy at home. So you've been trying to put you've been pulling away and you've been trying to find something else, anyone else to kind of quench that void, to fill that void that you have, to satisfy you because you're so unsatisfied, dissatisfied. Sorry. But the message that I'm getting with this is that that is creating more problems for you. And you really need to focus on yourself right now. This is all about that self-growth. This is all about really um, working with your spirit guides to really get in touch with your soul energy. So that you can magnetize in um, this kind of connection if you haven't already. Or maybe somebody's pulling you towards them. And you're pulling away with others. And not really... Um, it's, a, it's almost like a fear-based energy of you're running away from something. Maybe you do have this spiritual connection right here. And it's really strong. And you're kind of pulling away right now. And um, and that could be the other way around. You could have this connection. Somebody's pulling away from you. So you got to understand how chemistry works. Or how um, the energy works. When you push, somebody is going to pull. And, that's, and so it's got to be a balance. And how do you balance that? You focus on yourself. And you take uh, your focus off the other person. As being someone that is going to fill your void and fill your cup for you. That is how you balance that. We have the Ten of Discs, which is the same thing as the Ten of Pentacles. And this is all about that physical world. You have um, two Tens. You have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Discs. And both of these are a completion of cycles. And so, once again, you're really kind of um, getting out of those patterns you've been stuck in. And you're realizing that you do this. And that's that self-sabotaging behavior I've talked about before. Because these cycles are coming to an end finally. And why are they coming to an end? Because you've shined light on them. Brought them out of the shadow into the light. And you are aware now that you do these things. And you can celebrate that fact that you have changed. And you have released a lot of these things. And you have matured. But you just have to figure out how to free yourself. You have to free yourself of these obligations. And I'm not saying walk out on your kids. I'm not saying that. I'm saying happy parents make better parents is what I'm saying. So do put yourself first. I'm sorry this video is a little longer than usual. Um, I, I did have a lot of cards fall out and I wanted to really give you clarity. Um, but this is your weekly reading Capricorn. If you would like a personal reading, um, I'll put my email in the description of the video. Thank you for watching.